This video is presented by the EA Creator Network. Big thanks to EA for allowing me early access to FIFA 22. Hello and welcome everyone to FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. Feels good to be back. My name is Lasty for those of you that don't know me. And welcome to FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. How to play with no money. This is going to be my first FUT22 video. We're going to go through the very starting process of this game. It's almost like this is like a Road to Glory Episode 1. How to start FIFA with no money type of thing. But this is not my main Road to Glory. That's coming in a couple of days. Or depending on when you're watching this, you might want to click on my channel and see if the Road to Glory is there. Uh, so thank you for tuning in today. We are going to start FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. Uh, and I'm going to show you basically the aim for the end of this video is... You will have spent about an hour on the game maximum and you'll come away with a full gold team. All right. Simple as that. One hour in one gold team. That's how you get started on ultimate team. If you do enjoy, do me a huge favor. Smash the thumbs up button. I'm looking for as much traction as possible on these episodes. So hit the thumbs up and of course, subscribe for more FIFA 22 ultimate team content. So getting stuck in then, if you are a returning user to FUT22, you might get some reward packs. If not, you won't. And it doesn't really matter too much. You just get a tiny bit of a head start if you've already played the game before. They give you a few packs to say, hey, welcome back. Thank you for being a loyal player of the game. Um, but if not, I mean, the first few minutes of this video, I'm going to do my very best to not open those reward packs. I do open them eventually. Um, but I can show you how you can just sort of get underway without actually having to to use them so the first thing you'll get offered is your starter nation choose your starter pack so my recommendation to you guys is to go either brazil or france it's a pretty good option just because there are quite a lot of good non-rare golds for those nations and you never know i mean you get like a one gold or two golds or something in your in your starter team and uh, it's a good base to build off like an 81 pace striker 77 rated brazilian not too shabby I can work with that. So that's the idea. We've also got a, a gold center back and a gold center mid from Brazil. That's not that's not bad, you know. We can actually, we can work with this. We can make something happen. So what I would suggest to you guys to do is for the first like 30 seconds or so, familiarize yourself with your team. Whether that be, you know, putting a few players into position, see how many Brazilians you've got or how many French players you've got or whatever nation it is you choose. Um, I would suggest steering away from like England simply because uh, that means Premier League and it means that you're going to be looking to build like a Premier League team. Those can be quite expensive at the start of the game. There's a little tip for you. Now, you'll also choose a position and choose a lone player based on that. I've chosen a goalkeeper today. I don't think I've ever done that. I figured that there might be an Allison there and I needed a Brazilian goalkeeper. So that's why I did that. But if you choose center mid, you can get like Paul Pogba. If you choose strikers, you can get like Aubameyang. It depends what you're looking to, to do. But trust me, you probably won't be using that lone player too much. You might be saving him in your club for like a division rivals game or something like that. But in reality, they're not going to do that much for you. So just bit of position where you can get a little bit of chem choose a player from the nation that you've chosen uh you'll then get asked to um to choose your kits choose your badge pick a couple that make it look nice you know as nice as possible as i went for a brazilian team i've gone for a brazilian badge uh and there is my club summary we have started ultimate team we've got a starter squad together we've got a lone player on loan for what four games and we've got a couple of nice kits so we're looking pretty good now so what we've done there, I mean, this this shows you what you get to be for being a returning user. Like I said, these don't necessarily matter too much, but they are helpful if you have played before. You're going to be at an ever so slight advantage right off the get go. Um, so I get a foot ambassador loan. Yeah, I'm going to take an 89 rated Hyung Min Son for three games. That could come in handy in division rivals. Sure, absolutely. I might not end up using them. You might just be sat in the back of the club for a while. It all depends on like how you're playing this game. Um, and then a stadium starter pack. Well, this is quite useful because it does give you like a little TIFO, a little this and little that, which can be helpful for some of the objectives down the line. Uh, some of the, the, the milestones, which help you unlock the different levels of stadiums. This is like the pack animation, by the way. It's sort of like lots of gold triangles in the background. Looking pretty nice. But yeah, just a, a vast array of different club items in that one. And they were actually all tradable. If you really wanted to, you could discard the whole lot and get some coins, all right? So there was a there was probably 2,000 coins worth of stuff there. Um, next up, 
Switch your players around a little bit. Try and get as much chemistry as possible. Try and get a green link to someone if possible, if you have them from the same league, same nation, because what you're gonna start to do here, and this is the main focus for the first hour of playing Ultimate Team. Uh, foundations objectives basically just getting the basics done like literally change formation change a position of a player try and get a little bit of chemistry this that and the other and the game will reward you with a little gold reward pack with a little 150 coins and that will all add up you know i change formation here i change straight back again and i get what do i get for doing that i'll head back into the objectives now and claim my reward um i ended up getting a artist chemistry style for that one it could be could come in use it might not be useful at all but the stuff you'll get from this unless of course it is coins is going to be untradeable right you're not going to get much from it um and for some of you this might be you know you know what you're doing. You've played for many, many years. But if you haven't and you are fairly new to the game or if you're, you know, maybe starting a road to glory for the first time because you watched my series last year or something like that and you don't want to maybe use the FIFA points, then this is obviously pretty helpful. So once you've got a few objectives done, head into squad building challenges and complete the very first set. I think they're called the basics or whatever. I don't know. Uh, the first one is basically submit a bronze goalkeeper into the squad now, don't get too attached to those Brazilians that you put in your team. I mean, the gold ones you can get attached to. But the bronze ones and stuff, they're all going to go into these SBCs. Because actually, as you go through some of these, you're going to start to need a little bit of chemistry. So, you know, for example, uh, I had to use a bronze centre-back in this, in this particular squad. And he was in my main starting eleven, So he's no longer there. Um, because for those of you that don't know, if you put a player into a squad-building challenge they are gone for good so you know don't just put like a an icon in there thinking oh he'll help with the chemistry you will lose him forever for those of you that don't know um and then yeah you get a little reward from doing sbcs so you'll turn like a couple of bronze players into a pack full of bronze players or something like that this is the third step uh whereby you will need a little bit of chemistry as you can see i'm getting rid of the brazilian cam and striker that i had in my team um so they're no longer in my starting 11 so i've got i've got to fill those spots now but like I told you, the end of the episode, we're going to have a full gold team. Uh, so it doesn't matter what you end up doing with the bronzes. So we've amassed up to 542 coins. Uh, we've got some, some challenges done. Oh, there's more coins piling in, into the club right there. And what that sort of thing is going to allow you to do is pretty much open up your very first few packs or go onto the market and pick up your very first few gold players. Now, it's a little bit different for me. I'm making this video as a part of like the capture event for uh, the EA Creator Network. So there's not many people on the game. The game's not officially out at the point I'm making this video. So to be able to go onto the market and buy a full Brazilian squad is not necessarily the easiest thing because there's a very small amount of players out on the market. So that will affect how the, the price of stuff, but when you play the game, whether it be on EA Play or on Global Launch or whatever it may be, you're going to find that there's thousands, of, hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of things on the market, and that makes it a lot easier. There will be some people that open packs galore at the start of this game, and by doing that, they bring that market right down, allowing you, with your thousand coins, to go out and buy a right back and a centre back with that thousand coins, you know? So, whereas I could hardly buy, there wasn't even a, a Brazilian right back that was gold in the game at this point in time. So that's why I have to sort of, you'll see as we go through the video, uh, I have to sort of go off on a different path a little bit <laughs> to, to get my squad. Uh, so also things like changing your club name uh, or just confirming your club name will give you 150 coins. Uh, and as you can see here, I'm like, how can I complete this entire group of objectives? Well, if I just put a contract on a player, if I put a, a manager item on my manager, which are all simple and available to do, if you've done the first couple of SBCs, you'll have a couple of items to place on, on your manager, whether it's a new league or a new contract, whatever it may be, you'll have that in your club. So I put them on there. That's that's got another two objectives done and I'm just one objective away completing that first batch that first group which will give me a full-on consumable pack and a couple of silver packs whatever it may be 
And I do want that. I want to get that done. Uh, so I believe I needed to go out and play a game of squad battles. In between doing that, though, I decided to open up those gold packs. I thought maybe you guys would want to see it. For those of you that are returning guests, this is the sort of thing that you can hope for and expect from your returning packs. I got... 83 rated a Cherby in my very first gold pack this year. Not too bad. And of course, if you are a returning guest, these are tradable players. Uh, yeah, there was only one rare in here, and but there's a good few thousand coins worth. That, that can obviously help you quite a bit. Um, and then there, I, I have even more of these as well. Just a, a few little packs to open here, which shows you just how you can... Uh, you can speed up the process uh, of, of, <laughs> of of getting that gold team just simply by opening these packs if you are a returning user. Uh, and if not, don't worry. Like, I don't use many or if any of the things in these packs um, in order to get coins to get players. That it, it all comes to you naturally, you know. If you want to make some coins and you've got absolutely nothing, I've got 442 coins in my club. Probably can't buy a player with that. Well, what can I do? Well, I'll go out and play a game. I'll just play a game of squad battles with this rubbish team that I've got. Because, in all honesty, I can make, like, you know, 500 to 1,000 coins or whatever it may be from just going out and playing a game. Spend 15 minutes doing that. You know, yes, in EA Play, we are all a little bit, you know, time conscious because there's only a 10-hour trial or whatever. This is a good pack, by the way. Getting a Marlin this early on in the game. This card tradable will sell for a good amount i'm sure because he looks like such a great starter player on my main rtg i'm gonna aim to try and get someone like that in the first few hours i think because uh, i really want a nice team with players that could potentially rise in price uh, over the next few days or weeks whatever it may be so as you can see yeah, I'm, I'm 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 starting to build up some gold players in the club that's all good you know nice one i'm a returning user that's why i've been given them but as you can see we've also picked up a couple of players and we've got nearly a full chem brazilian squad not quite but we're getting there so i thought you know what i'll go out onto an amateur game of squad battles don't worry about the difficulty don't try and play legendary or world class or whatever just go out into an amateur or beginner game of squad battles get some stuff done win by as many goals as possible score from crosses score long shots finesse shots all of that type of stuff because it's going to help get you some objectives to unlock all of the stadium stuff. And also I got, you know, I've got a little loan Phil Foden here. I got a, what to get, a coin boost, 500 extra coins every game you play for five games. That's useful. Like I said, if you're poor, you go out and play a game and you're going to have another 500 coins plus whatever the match coins were as well. So super handy to, to just even play the game with the rubbish team that you've got. And as you can see, that one squad battles match completed the basics giving me a consumables pack, a silver pack, and I think maybe some coins as well. I'm not sure, um, but it got a lot done. That one game of squad battles, scoring a whole bunch of goals, got me like 8 out of 10 for the stadium development stuff done. Now with this, I'm going to get some random TIFOs, goal nets, and all of that sort of stuff to help uh, you know, change and build my stadium up into uh, something cool. But uh you know i'm not so keen on the on the stadium customization stuff that doesn't bother me too much what i am more interested in is getting coins getting a squad together and actually then playing the game uh i also love sbcs as well but if you've been watching me for years you guys absolutely know that already so i picked myself up uh, a nice little left winger from uh liga nos because i knew that i could get a nice a, a good link of chemistry from liga nos so i started going off the, off the Brazil thing to Liga Nos a little bit. I then had a couple of La Liga centre-backs in my club. So I, I, I went to then Brazil, La Liga, try and link them up a bit. So I've got a little bit of a hybrid going in the first squad, as you can see here. And we're not quite done yet. We've nearly got a full gold team. But I want a uh, a gold... I want a gold striker. And, and that's going to just take a, a moment here. Because uh, I, I wanted to, to get that Portugal guy in the right wing. I think it was Rafa. Uh, and then get a Portuguese striker. So I'll have like a Brazilian Liga Nos La Liga mix squad at the end of this episode. And it will have all been done in literally about an hour of playing the game. Uh, some of you will get luckier in the packs that you open. You know, I could have sold all of them players that I got in those returning packs and built like a mega team already. You know, that could have got me 20k. I could have bought that Marlin or, you know, I could have put him into a squad. And we could have a, a better squad than I'm about to show you. But... This sort of thing, after one hour of playing the game and, and not really having much to work with, that's acceptable. I could feel, I feel like I can maybe go out into my first game of Division Rivals with a squad like this. Um, I'm sure you guys would as well, you know. Condogbia in the midfield, 
Um, Mateus Cunha in the in that cam roll. He's going to be great as a starter player. That left wing looked good. Rafa looked good. I've got a nice team coming together here. Obviously, yeah, over the next few hours, we'll improve those non-rares to rares. We'll maybe... Yeah, maybe I'll get rid of that striker because he's not that great, but he sort of worked for chemistry right now. I'll try and bring someone in with a bit more pace, maybe some skill moves. And you go from there. So I think, uh, I've, you know, you can leave me some suggestions down below in what you would like to see for content over the next few days before the, you know, the road to glory starts very soon. Don't you worry. Uh, I think I might do a little bit of a pack opening. Obviously, with the ultimate edition of the game, you do get 4,600 FIFA points. I might do a video of, like, this is what you get in those 4,600 FIFA points and try and make the most possible money from selling the players that I get and stuff and show you the worst-case scenario, the difference between the walkout animation, the board animation, and the non-board animation. I might do a video like that. I'll also show you a whole bunch of overpowered players that you need to use. And we might talk about the best starter teams as well. So that is going to wrap things up for this video. Can you do me a huge favor and smash the thumbs up? Uh, we're looking for like 5,000 likes on this video if possible. And of course, subscribe. We're over 500,000 subs on FIFA 22. Let's push towards 600,000 subs, shall we? Have a great day, everyone. Take it easy. Stay safe and healthy. Lots more videos coming in the next few days. So click the notification bell. You won't miss a video. Uh, and I will see you real soon. Peace.